Then from two to six. From two to six, okay. thank you, God. Then we also have uh, civilization classes from 7.30 to 9.30 right. okay. on Thursdays, also at the African Poetry Theater. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of different things. Like this month, well, I think it's next month, next okay. month, the Earth in the Oasis Youth Center, they're actually having a food, uh, a food and clothing drive. Okay. Okay. So if anybody's interested, they can keep them call the African Poetry Theater or possibly come to one of our events, things that we throw. We also have the uh, Universal Parliament, whereas we, it's open to everyone. The public, anybody can come. They want to just get a general concept of what we're about, what we teach, and things of that nature. See, we're civilized people. We don't shun anyone. You know, but whether we have different religions or, or different uh, cultures, different ways of life, you know, we, we teach all the human families of the planet Earth. It doesn't matter about us being different because, you know, we have a oneness. We're here together. Okay. You know, but a lot of times we get, you know, secular. We start dividing ourselves. We mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't deal with this person or that person. I don't, I don't care because I'm going to be God. Right. God is within me. See, what we got to do is find a common ground. And when we have a common ground, then that's when we actually could come amongst each other and actually do something, build a community. Okay. Okay? Now, with mathematics, which is a, um, we have nine principles right, exactly. plus cipher. Trendy. And the cipher is not, that's a principle. I should say ten principles, but we have, like, nine numbers. Right, it goes exactly. from knowledge to born. That's right, God. You right. All right. You know, you have a lot of people out there who's not really, who wants to say that they five percenters, quote, mm -hmm. unquote, or say that they God, but they don't live it out. But, see, it's not about what you say. It's a, it's a lot about what you do. Because you have a lot of children looking up to you. Okay. Whether or not you know it or like it, you have a lot of children looking up to you. You know, I have kids. I have kids. Man, you know, yeah, but pretty much all the kids that come around me, I'm responsible for. Okay. You know, you God relatively have, has mm -hmm. kids, you know. Mm -hmm. And we all sit up there and it's like when they come around, I'm going to be like their father when their father's not here. That's right. So it's my responsibility to take care of them too. Yeah. Right. yeah. You know, and I have a black woman. You know, I teach her. And we know we, we're together. She's not behind me. She's beside me because she's a help me. You know, we help each other. Like, I, I go through certain things and as an individual. When you get someone else in, like, a relationship and you put them right next beside you, then you're going to grow that much more. Now, without them, you're going to be at a certain limitation. You know, okay. but when you, you know, you get into a relationship, you start learning a lot more things about yourself because you learn how to deal with, you know, another aspect of mm. yourself. You don't just deal with just, you know, oh, right. me, I'm me, I'm concerned about me, about getting jiggy, about doing certain things. It's not about that. Right. You know, we go the 5% or Nation of God's Nurse, we go through all aspects of life. We in the street, we build in the street, you know, we have classes, we have a school, which is at 2122 7th Avenue. We have um, youth centers, like I said earlier. You know, I'm a member of a law youth center as well. You know, I'm a chairman of that board at a law youth center. And what we do there is an outreach, uh, outreach service, and we teach, you know, the children. We have com um, computer classes, we have civilization classes, we do a whole lot of things. Right. You know, I'm going back to the principle of what we are, you know, the black man being God, that's what we teach. That's the perspective in which we come from. You know, I'm not trying to put nobody down, because we don't put people down. But I think, I think we should get more into the philosophy of why we came to this theoretical <laughs> term of the black man being God. You know, there may be some people who question, like, mm -hmm. where do we come to this theory? Did we just nominate ourselves God, or was there a thorough investigation or research? To the that conclusion. Said, right, that was to that conclusion. conclusion. Indeed so. So, what you're saying, basically, is, you know, in the early years of the Nation of Gods and Herbs, many people were deterred or turned away because of that calling ourselves God, or saying that God existed within us. No, I'm, I'm saying more like, um... We need to explain right. where did we grasp this philosophy? Give where did the father where, grasp where did we what, grasp what, what, what the father, where did he get this philosophy from before he embedded it into us? Right. Where did he get this philosophy philosophy of the black man being God? Exactly. Where did he come about this? And how does it conflict with the general society? No, we're not talking okay. about conflict. Trying to do that. Can you elaborate on that, God? Yeah. Or maybe I should elaborate on that when I quote the who is the original man? The original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, God of the universe. Right, but that's still, it's still left it's to speculation. True. I mean, it, it, the point I was trying to get at is the point of, you know, the black man being in existence for trillions and trillions of years, and we know that we have an infinite lifespan. True. You know, that life never ceases. Life forgets life. Life never terminates. It has no beginning nor ending. And we know that 
the, the Caucasian man is only 6,087 years old. Mm -hmm. So we know that something that has a beginning has an ending. True. So, so, I mean, these are theoretical points that brought us to the conclusion that the black man is God from our infinite lifespan and the trials and tribulation and how we took society and the world on our shoulders. So we talk about who is that mystery God? There is no well, mystery God. Son of Man has searched for that mystery God for trillions of years. Trillions of years was unable to find the so-called mystery God. So we all agreed that the only God was the Son of Man and lost no more time searching for that which does not exist. Yes, 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 God. I, you know, I mean, just to, just to, you know, to elaborate on that to y'all out there, you know, on, you know, as the degree was spoken, as the God manifested degree to y'all, it's talking about the black man being a father of civilization. I mean, that alone, when you hear that, that alone, some of you aren't quite sure who are out there who study and, and, and you read history and you're going to Egyptology and, and, you know, you're going to a lot of these, you know, historians and these brothers who have showed and proved that the black man was here first. So just within that alone, you know, it should make you look and say to yourself, okay, if we was the first one here, then where did these other people come from? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because they didn't come out of the just pop up. You know what I'm saying? Out of the clear blue sky, so that alone. See, so the term God that is used, the term God that you're here being used, you take it as something. It's being taken, you know, because we all come from out of that same state a lot of our brothers and sisters came from out of. We got parents, you know, who kind of, you may disagree with what we're saying, but they understand what we're about because they see the positive, the positivity in it and how we carry ourselves. So, you know, when, when they hear God, that kind of shutting, you know, a lot of, you know, brothers and sisters away because they, you know, it's thinking of something that is all oh, super. No, it's only talking about uh, a supreme being. We don't understand that the black man and the black woman, we are supreme. We are the first here on this earth. You know, and this is what we teach. We are the makers. We are the owners because, you know, every time something is built, you know, it's us. You know, every time somebody's digging somewhere around on the planet Earth, they're digging up us. So, you know, that and alone, God, you know, that, right. that shows and proves the black man is the father of civilization. Sure. Peace. Peace. Um, just to get back to what C.R. Kill was building about as far as teaching the babies, because the babies are indeed the best part. And one thing that we do stress teaching the babies is the knowledge of themselves and the history of where they come from. Mm -hmm. And like you said, when any time they want to figure out something about history, right. they go back to the source. That's which right. is back to Egypt, back, back to Africa, back to the original people, because original only means the source of, That's right. or the Sweet first Jesus. having been here. So to say that the original black man is God, God, see a lot of times the misconception is when people use the term God, they apply a lot of religious connotations mm -hmm. to it. They believe that because you say you God, you have to be able to walk through a wall. Yeah, yeah, or because yeah. you say you God, you're supposed to wink your eyes, suddenly yeah, such yeah, a thunder, yeah. and everything else like that. And, I don't. I think that's a major misconception that people have. Why they get shunned away? Why they yeah. get they turn their heads when they say the black man is God? And I think what you did was to define who God is mm -hmm. or what God is, and not to think that God is a person or a spook rather, because it is a per God is a person. No, that God right. is a spook right. that you know can perform all these different things that you can't do. At least I can. If I say. Um, you know, you're God, I can see you. Mm -hmm. But I'm, you know, most people believe in that God is somebody they can't see when they die. That's and of right. course, after they die, they can't come back and tell us, well, you know, everything they read about that spooky stuff right, is right, true. Right, right, right. Obviously, they cannot do that. <laughs> that so that's right. exactly what we're teaching the babies. We're teaching them the history. When you go to school, they don't teach you about yourself. It's when they don't teach right. you the truth about what happens in that's school. Right, right. And it really is a shame. For instance, a lot of things I'm learning now that I've been in the nation of God's and earth, which I just made one year January 2nd. That's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things that I'm learning now that I'm in the nation of gods and earth that I did not know. And as a, it, I mean, even when you try to tell people, you try to teach them, they ways have been embedded in them so hard that it, like they just don't even want to hear. Even when it comes to different holidays and what they mean mm -hmm. and what they signify. Mm -hmm. I mean, you try to let people know that, okay, Thanksgiving ain't what it seems to be. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's really hard to put it out there because we have been trained, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We have been Very taught much. from the time we were babies to the Very point much. now. It's really hard to, to turn 